Stella confronted me and told me to share my husband with him, with her. And I was like, do you know this is a man of God? He's a man of God. When she said I should share my husband with her, that I'm being selfish for holding on with my husband, that if I don't release, if I don't allow my husband, if I don't share my husband with him, with her, she's going to take my husband from me. <laughs> it's funny. Audio jungle. Hi, my name is Harvey. Thanks for joining this video. It's just a quick video to show you what Pastor Yemisi actually said. Now, I know that in the last video, um, I said something that this is Pastor Yemisi sharing this information, but that was the information I was able to deduce online. However, based on our uh, information in this video, she kind of said that she wasn't even aware that the husband actually married um stella you know the other woman and and so but that was the information i was able to deduce online so apparently that's wrong so apologies for that but in this video she actually said something in this video please watch i don't know what you think i think this information is getting messier messy which is what we're expecting that it's going to get messier um in this video she said things like um um she 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 like she wasn't promiscuous like the husband painted it to be so it's getting very confusing i don't know what you think feel free to watch this video to the end and feel free to leave your comment stella confronted me and told me to share my husband with him with her and i was like do you know this a man of god he's the man of god when she said i should share my husband with her that i'm being selfish for holding on with my husband that if I don't release, if I don't allow my husband, if I don't share my husband with him, with her, she's going to take my husband from me. <laughs> it's funny. It was like that, but it happened. Before I know it, I got her number. All she would do was to condemn me every bit, every day. Condemn me every day. Every day, I have some of the ones I screenshot that Stella would say to me. Stella would say many things, and I'm bringing it up so that you can see. One of these was that an, a, an AS and AS genotype can never be thus a misplaced marriage. I don't know how I can show it. Okay. If you can see it, that's Stella. I overlooked it. The next day, it was naked demonstration of God's love. That's it. told me about his um, relationship with Stella. I got to know that he had a baby through her updates. And this I don't know if you are seeing it. I don't know if you are seeing it. This is it. I don't know if you are seeing it, if it is clear. This was part of the battles I was fighting, but I kept quiet. A lot. When I, in my inquisitiveness, I got some of the pictures him and, and my husband, uh, she and my husband were exchanging in their living room. This is Stella when she was pregnant. And the next is my husband. I kept it. I kept it. I didn't say nothing. I did not say anything. I, I don't want to go much. If he says I'm lying, 
you should come up and do the genotype of my children. Come up and do the genotype of my children. The three children are his. If he loves Stella, he would have told me that he wanted to go on with Stella instead of tormenting my life, involving his family to torment me. Nobody knows the pain I went through. him even up till november i had asked him if stella is now my wife he should allow me accept that fact i can stay with it after all i have known the pains are there all the whole years i now see that he cannot separate himself from stella the prophetess in south africa my major pain at that time that made me bitter was that Stella was always with him. Stella was always with him. Stella was always with him. And it is to my surprise that he got married to Stella. I'm just seeing that now with all this saga online. I'm shocked that he got married to Stella. I'm shocked. So, I can't say anything more than my child's health status that he put out so that tomorrow my child will not say, Mommy, you didn't say anything. My three children are his. I've never, ever lived a promiscuous life. Ever. I gave my life to Christ since I was six years old. And I've been in the faith. I'm sorry for those of you who said I wouldn't have said anything, but I'm sorry for my children's sake and their destiny. My husband is Brother Joshua Igela. If he says it's the end of it, it's not the end of life. God is with us all the time. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. Bye. I don't know what you think if you have watched that video. Um, I believe it's getting messy and messy and messy and it's going to be getting messier um, because he's coming out to say that the wife did this, the wife did that and now the wife came out and I know some people will, will be thinking maybe she shouldn't have come out and all that. I think it's okay the way she come out. I see her as somebody very reserved and all that. Maybe she's promiscuous or not. We don't know but I, I kind of like the way she just said everything and... Um, coming out and the way she presented the information very short very very straightforward and i don't know what was the correlation between the two of them she looks very calm and relaxed whereas the other one is feeling eaten up i mean the husband um prophet Tigila. what do you think feel free to leave your comments in the comment section and um thank you and i'll talk to you in the next video Bye bye